Before we can move ahead, let us take a small pause and let us think, do we really require classes? Let us go back to the earlier program that we wrote. So let me go back to my file called as basic and let me collapse my sidebar. So let us ask a very fundamental question. Do we require a class? The answer is it depends. Whenever you want to have a structure and a behavior together, at that time using a class makes much more sense. If you require just the data, then you can use any other data structures. You can use a list, you can use a dictionary or some other custom data structures as well. But whenever the structure and behavior is tied together, that's the best place to create a class. For example, in this file, we have a class of person. Now let's see what's happening. Person has a structure and that structure is defined by the first name and the last name. Now this person can also have a behavior. A person can greet another person. So we have a method called as greet. So greet can be imagined like a behavior of a person. A person can have different kinds of behaviors. A person can walk, a person can talk, a person can eat. So all of this can be imagined as behaviors. But all of these behaviors is tied to a structure and that structure is a first name, last name. And maybe you can have multiple other parameters such as your age, your location and so on. So just keep this in mind, classes are not the solution for everything. Make sure you use the right data structure or the right classes only when it is required.